Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023-24 Panini Prison Basketball Retail Edition. Random team break number one. It's gonna be four boxes right here. The pink pulsars are the exclusives in here. That's what that's what we're looking for. A very big thank you to this group for making it happen. Brian with a bunch of spots, Tristan with a bunch of spots, Dan, Chris, Joe, Seth, Marty, Darren, all getting into the mix as well. Thanks guys. Appreciate you. Another four box break is loaded up too if you want to go back in on it. All right, and we've got uh, all 30 teams are in, no combos. Let's roll at randomized names and teams, five and a one, six times each. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Six times. We've got Tristan down to Brian. Yeah, maybe he's saying, hey, maybe, get, maybe take Bronny. Five and a one, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and uh, one more sixth and final time. Good luck. We've got the Warriors all the way down to the Timberwolves. The Spurs are in, in, in the middle there somewhere. All right, so Tristan with the Golden State Warriors, Brian with the Bucks, Tristan with the Nets, Brian with the Nuggets, Tristan with the Hawks, Darren with the Sixers, Brian with Spurs and Grizz, Joe with the Celtics, Brian with the Pacers and Magic, Tristan with the Clippers, Brian Hornets, Raptors, Suns, Pelicans, Tristan with the Knicks, Marty with the Rockets, Seth with the Pistons, Brian with the Heat, Tristan with the Mavs, Dan with the Jazz, Chris with the Thunder, Tristan with the Cavs, uh, Brian with the Wizards, Tristan with Sacramento, Portland going to Marty, Brian with my Lakers, Seth with the Bulls, and Brian with the Timberwolves. Where did I? Where was San Antonio again? There you go, Brian with San Antonio Spurs. You got the Spurs as well. All right, trade window is open. So let's alphabetize by team. It's a pretty solid draft class too, so a lot of teams with some decent rookies here. All right, so we're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the four box break, stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done. Here is the final printout official. During the trade window, we were talking a little bit about Brawny. Apparently after the combine, or during the combine I guess is this week, he was listed as 6'4 in college and in high school. At the combine, Six foot one and a half. So that's a bit of a quite a difference. Maybe he's six four with shoes. I don't know. You get you do you get like three inches from shoes? But I don't think you get that much. We got uh, Celtics only leading by one with a minute left before the uh, first half is out. But yeah, I agree, Oliver. I mean, he would have to have dominated college or have some sort of translatable NBA skill, like pure shooting. I mean, people say he could play defense, but I don't know, at that size, who are you defending at that size? Most three-pointers for the Cavs made in the first half in playoff history, I think. Just kind of saw that. Flash by the TV with 11. Yeah, but he's small. Like, who's he defending? Other guards, I guess. But then you're losing a lot on the... Uh, I mean, unless he could develop into, like, a... But someone's going to have to develop him. That's the thing. I can't wait for the Lakers to draft him. Yeah, who's he gonna defend? Seth Curry, maybe? Small guards, <laughs> whatever the small guards are. The, Laker, the Lakers are gonna do what I fear is, is gonna be, you know, the stuff of nightmares. They're gonna give LeBron $60 million a year they're going to use their late second round pick to draft Bronny. And they're going to get J.J. Redick as the coach. And they're going to actually play Bronny 10 minutes a game next year. It 
So that 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 that's gonna and they're gonna trade they're gonna trade everybody for someone else. A uh, they're gonna move like Hachimura and Austin Reeves and whoever else they can, Max Christie, etc. They'll just gut the team to get some some borderline all star. And then just piece together a bunch of one-year deals with washed-up guys, and and then hope that hope that JJ Redick turns into Steve Kerr and not a nice women Yama, and not a Steve Nash. More women Yama, global reach green. When Benyama. So good start here for the Spurs. Brian Watford got randomized the Spurs. And a base when Benyama. Right. Get Bradley Beal. You know, not have very much defensive identity, not too much depth. Same results. Sixty-two fifty-seven at the half. Celtics are up. Cavs hanging tough. There's Michael Porter Jr. Silver. Yeah, I, I mean, what difference will it make, though? If you, if you get a Bradley Beal or a, or a Trey Young? I mean, the thing is, they've kind of painted themselves into corners, so there's really not much they can do. Jaime Jaquez... Brian Watford in the heat, and here's another Wembenyama. This is deep space Wembenyama. Right, it's not gonna do anything. It'll be same same results. Struggle to make it to the playoffs, and then, you know, maybe win a series, but depending on the team you match up with, if they face the Nuggets at any point, you know, that's that. Nice emergent, Brandon Miller, silver. Nice, that'll be for Brian Wofford and Charlotte. Nice. The crazy thing is, is that it's Chris Livingston, sil rookie silver, Seth Curry. The thing was with my Raiders, or my Raiders, my Lakers, is that, uh, right away. If you have is that, I mean, they really should start, they should say, hey, LeBron, thanks, thank you for your service, appreciate you, and let him walk. You know, or politely decline extending him. Last year, both LeBron and AD were healthy for a vast majority of, I mean, they didn't miss very many games. I think they were banged up a little bit, but everyone is. But they, they were, they at least played games. They didn't miss very many games and they still struggled to get out of the, uh, still struggled to get into the playoffs and had no answers for the Nuggets by the time the fourth quarter rolled around in most of those games. You know, you know guys were gassed by the fourth quarter. I don't know what you do. I mean, ideally you say, hey, LeBron, you want to rest the first two months of the season, but he's not going to do that. 
have them fresh for, for the playoffs. Anthony Davis is not a not as willing of a uh, big man. He's a big man, but his brain is still point guard brain. Which I guess made the Christian Wood uh, sort of Christian Wood injury. But Christian Wood wasn't going to help the Lakers win that win that series. Might would have would have won a couple more games. Ladies are kind of stuck. I think I feel like the only hope the Lakers have is that some of the youngsters that they have, you know, suddenly turn into borderline all stars. They got to look in house. So they're probably they'll probably trade those guys though. They'll probably trade those guys to get like a vet player. Not too many options for the Lakers. I think the Clippers are kind of the same way here in town. I think feel like the Clippers don't have too many options. The Suns, who also went top heavy, I don't feel like they don't have any options either. They're going to try to trade Bradley Beal, I think, but I think Beal is one of the few players in the league that has a no trade or something like that. Does anyone confirm or deny that? There's a Scoot Henderson instant impact green. There's Marty with Portland. Here's an emergent base edition Victor Wembanyama. Yeah, I mean, Oliver, I feel like I feel like the Suns just did what just did what the Lakers and, and try to emulate what the Lakers were doing. Let's trade a bunch of assets for Kevin Durant and get Bradley Beal. Hire the old Lakers coach. Have a top-heavy team. No defense, no depth. And there you have it. Early exit. There's an instant impact. Brandon Miller, silver. Brian with Charlotte. Yeah, Joe Pizzle definitely knows. But that, that's the direction they went. They, they were like, let's, let's do the Lakers formula. And now they're going to burn through, you know, they'll probably burn through multiple coaches. Ooh, nice Derek Lively Silver. He's been playing well this season. It's going to go to Dallas. That's for Tristan. And I think really starting to emerge in the playoffs too. Yeah, everyone thinks you need those three stars. I don't know. You look at teams like, you look at the teams like the Nuggets. They just got big Nikola Jokic. Pair him with, you know, Jamal Murray, and then fill in some great role players. And then you can, ha then you have like guys like Aaron Gordon who are helping you win games when, you know, your stars get a little cold. It's a much balanced team. Right, look at the Nuggets, OKC, look at the Pacers. The Knicks, yeah, that's how the that's how teams are being built these days. Nikola Jovic, silver. There's a Sewer Thompson. It's for Detroit. That'll go to Seth. All right, two more to go. But like even like, I don't know, even the Celtics too, right? Celtics. Haven't done too many wild trades. 
you know, they've got a pretty balanced team. Even the Cavs have constructed their teams pretty well. Yeah, it's true, Oliver, but I mean, was a healthy Jared Vanderbilt, Gabe Vincent, and Christian Wood going to make a difference in the series? Maybe, I guess. The Lakers did play the Nuggets pretty close in a few games, so maybe. Yeah, Gabe Vinton, who only played maybe a handful of regular season games, I don't think... I think he's a good player. I don't think he was ever ready to to play playoff minutes and be effective. I think he just wasn't in that... in playing shape. I think he's in shape, obviously, but it's different when you're actually playing real NBA minutes. I don't know. Got to blame somebody. I don't know. Not, not a lot. Not a lot the Lakers can do. But they're probably going to... Probably going to extend... Like I said, probably going to... Give LeBron a three-year extension at sixty-plus million dollars a year, which is insane. I mean, he's good, but I don't know. Father time could catch up really quickly. I think about like noodle arm Peyton Manning. That can happen real fast. I hope they okay. Who do you think should be the ne the Lakers coach, Oliver? have to be sort of have to be LeBron approved but also someone who could stand up to LeBron at the same time coach that's willing to to, to deal with to deal with all, all the all those egos yeah there's no one that's a must-have there's Mohamed Gouye which, which is Makes me nervous. I think LeBron's just gonna convince the front office, "Hey, hire hire my podcast buddy." <laughs> LeBron's mom might be the only one to say, "Hey, we're sticking with these rotations. We'll make it work." I mean, Lakers really just need to have guys like Maxwell Lewis you know, turn into a borderline all-star. Jalen hood Shafino to be a borderline all-star, you know, to really take some big steps next next season. That's really, that's really where the Lakers can quickly improve. Points will be randomized to one person in the break. If there's more, it'll be winner take all. We've got instant impact, Victor Wembanyama. Got a silver Drew Holiday. GG Jackson had a decent year as well. I like that with hoops, like even some of these second tier rookies, you know, outside of that Wembenyama tier, outside of that Brandon Miller tier, you're still going to find some solid rookies that sell pretty decently on the secondary market, believe it or not. You might be surprised, especially relative to a similar caliber of player in the other sports, football, baseball.
All right, we got another uh, four box break loaded up in the store. We can do some more of this. It's a lot of fun. I don't think there's too many, uh, and I don't think it's a crazy price point. $29.99 a spot. Cross your fingers. Try to get a random team. Try to get a, you got a one in 30 chance with one spot at the Spurs. Or the Hornets. Hornets are pretty solid. So is Detroit, Houston. So we can keep this going. We have not seen uh, like train whistling. I don't know if, if there are there's got to be one of ones in here, hiding in here somewhere. That'd be pretty awesome to pull out of retail. But at 29 bucks a spot, 29.99 a spot, 30 bucks a spot. It's not. I think it's worth doing. I think it's worth getting a spot or two and seeing seeing what happens. You never know. It's the thrill of the chase, ladies and gentlemen. This is why we play the game. Oliver, what are the uh, what are the Kings gonna do? Your Sacramento Kings. What are their off-season plans slash needs? I feel like the Sacramento Kings are pretty solid. They just need. I just think you just need to make. Some more additions just through the draft and whatever you can get in free agency and look for some players to just to evolve, take it to another level, take it to the next st step, take the next steps. And then put it all, try to put it all together. There's base Wembenyama. Oh, okay, there you go. Resign Malik Monk. Green Grady for Toronto, that'll be for Brian. He is Keegan, like Keegan Murray to take it to, to keep making progress, keep evolving his game. Instant Impact Silver, Victor Wembanyama, nice. It's a nice set of Victor Wembanyamas, Brian. Noah Clowney for uh, the Nets. Brandon Miller emergent. It's also for Brian and Charlotte. Got an Asur Thompson Green for Seth and the Pistons. We have not seen his brother, but maybe uh, maybe in the next four four boxes we'll see more of him and Thompson. Here's base Jaime Hawkes. Kind of wish the Lakers would have taken him. He contributed pretty well to the Miami Heat team. Instead, I think we took Jalen Hood Shafino ahead of Jaime Hawkes. There's Amen Thompson, and an autograph. Terquavion Smith, rookie auto for the Sixers. That's going to be for Darren. The King, and Oliver thinks Kings need a uh, need some toughness. Ah, Ojiano Obi would have been perfect for them. There's Emergent Silver Sword Thompson. There's Amen Thompson. There's Max Christie and Malik Beasley. 
And that's the break, ladies and gentlemen. I'll do a quick recap for you in a second. Let me just randomize the points to somebody. And we'll do a quick recap. Winner take all on the points, just one set of points today. Let's gather everybody's names here. 400 points is a decent amount though. You might be able to resell that on a secondary market for a decent price. Let's roll it, let's randomize all the names. Six and a five, 11 times. Name on top gets the 400 points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleventh and final time. After eleven, we've got Marty. Marty with the four hundred points going your way. And here is the recap. Quick little recap. Asur Thompson's, Brandon Miller's, some Wemby Wembenyamas. Right, there's that silver, there's the base version of it, looks pretty sharp. Derek Lively silver, Brandon Miller's. A lot of Victor Wembanyama's in the mix as well. Thanks for watching, thanks for breaking with us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. The next four box break is in the store, pretty friendly price point, and we can, we can go big game hunting in this. So thanks, we'll see you next time for the next basketball break. Bye-bye.